Texas Gila's are beautiful, generally well-behaved dogs that may also be called the Queensland Healer or the Blue Healer. Texas Gila's are considered designer dogs even though they have a work ethic that beats out many other breeds. Characteristics often attributed to these canines are intelligence, alertness, trainability, and an energetic and highly active nature. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Texas Gila's are born to be herding dogs, which can be seen through their ancestry, as they are crossed with the Australian Cattle Dog and the Australian Shepherd. These are two of the most world-renowned herding breeds and have passed down these strong genetics to the healer. What's the price of Texas Gila puppies? A Texas Gila has become quite a common dog, especially in its namesake state. This makes the dog more affordable. It also means that if you are looking to adopt one, consider looking into your local shelters first, as many need their own forever home. If you are interested in buying from a breeder, the price usually starts at around $200 and can extend to $400. This varied price is more down to the breeder, as well as whatever pedigree the parent pups may have had. Temperament and Intelligence of the Texas Healer The foremost trait inherent to a Texas Healer is its herding capabilities. It may even practice these with small children and other pets in the home. The Texas Healer has a high amount of intelligence, inherited from both of its parents. This wit typically doesn't manifest in an unwanted or unruly cleverness, but instead, a single focused mindset for the task at hand. The dogs have a high trainability, especially with a trainer who practices a firm hand and consistent commands. If they are living in a home with kids, they need to be trained not to chase and practice their herding. They would never intentionally hurt anyone, but at times, they can be aggressive in their tactics. Are these dogs good for families? These dog breeds can be good fits for families, especially those with kids who are a little older. They need to be trained not to chase or herd with toddlers, so they don't accidentally knock them over. They are a loyal breed, as well as being energetic. This combination makes them the ideal playmate for children. Things to know when owning a Texas healer. Food and diet requirements. Even with the high amount of energy that a Texas healer puts out every day, they are only a moderately sized dog and don't tend to overeat. An adult Texas healer generally needs around three cups of food a day. To support their daily activity, the food they do eat should be calorie dense and full of needed nutrients to keep up their muscle mass and bodily systems. Try to find a dog food specially formulated for active breeds, matching it up to their medium stature and their life stage. Exercise. The Texas healer needs much more exercise than your average dog breed. They should be walked an average of 14 miles a week if they don't have free roam of a farm or ranch. Keep in mind that because this is an intelligent dog, they love to have jobs to do. Try to incorporate learning tricks and training sessions into their exercise time to work their brain as well as their body. Walk for 30 minutes twice a day, or go to an area where they can run off leash. Taking a puppy to a dog park is a great way to work on early socialization. Texas Gila's also make for great hiking buddies. Training. These dogs are easy to please, and their understanding and wits make them a quick study for learning new things. They are not an especially stubborn breed, making training even easier. Just like all other breeds, they don't take well to negative reinforcement or rough treatment. One of the most prominent facets to focus on in training is whether you would like your Texas healer to practice its herding tendencies. If not, you will have to work hard to train this out of the dog, especially if they are going to be around young children. If you do, all it takes is a bit of refining to capitalize on this incredibly useful trait, and they will thank you for giving them such a fun job. Grooming. The Texas healer typically has a short coat, making it a reasonably easy job to keep up with grooming. However, they could have the long hair of a parent Australian Shepherd. If they do have long hair, try to brush them out weekly at least. A Texas healer may be sensitive to touch, so watch out for this when grooming them. 
Practicing a normalized routine of grooming from a young age helps them become accustomed to regular grooming. Health Conditions These pups are relatively healthy dogs, and although there is a wide range of health issues they might suffer from, they do not tend to occur frequently. Minor Conditions Deafness, Epilepsy and Cataracts Serious Conditions Hip Dysplasia, Elbow Dysplasia, Dystochiasis, Osteochondritis Dissecans, Progressive Retinal Atrophy and Collie Eye Anomaly. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.